Uh, you the man I talked to you about... You have to wait your turn, mister. About the job of sheriff. You interested in the job of sheriff? Well, maybe. How much does it pay? Well, none of our sheriffs ever lived long enough to find out. Now, <laughs> uh, look, boys, why don't you all go outside and watch the fight? The ladies, too. Very good fight out there. You can watch it, too, Sam. Okay, come on. Let's get out. Get moving. Come on. All right, let's go. I'm Ollie Perkins, the mayor here. Jason McCullough. Fred Johnson, Henry Jackson, Tom Devery. Three of our original settlers, and Fred and Henry are members of the town council. And I represent the mine owners. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. What that fellow said just a minute ago ain't strictly true. We've had three sheriffs in the past two months, but only two of them got killed. Oh, what about the other one? Well, he quit kind of sudden-like. I don't think he had exactly the right kind of temperament for the position. Well, you never have said anything about the pay. Well, for the right kind of man, $150 a month. Well, the spiraling prices you have around here, that'd only allow a man to eat and sleep about uh, eight days a month. Job includes room and board. And not at Emma's Tasty Food Emporium. At my house, my daughter does the cooking. Well, gentlemen, I think it's only fair to tell you that I'd only be interested in this job on a temporary basis. Oh? Well, you see, actually, I was on my way to Australia when I heard about your gold strike, and I decided to uh, travel through here and see if I couldn't pick myself up a little steak. What do you want to go to Australia for? Well, it's the last of the frontier country. Thought I might like to do a little pioneering. I thought this was frontier country and we was pioneers. So did I. Uh, now, to get back to the sheriff's job, if I decide to take it, it'd have to be with the understanding that I get enough time off to do the prospecting I came here to do in the first place. Well, yeah. You ain't said nothing yet about your qualifications for the job. Oh, don't worry about that. If I take it, you'll uh, be glad you got me. Well, it ain't just a question of you taking the job. It's also a question of you being able to handle it. Ollie, we ain't in much of a position to be choosing. And him being willing to talk about it at all certainly shows the right attitude. I don't care what it shows. I'm the mayor of this town. It's my responsibility to hire us a sheriff that's not only got qualifications, but that ain't gonna get himself killed the first time he sticks his nose out of the door. Ollie, how long we've been out of the chance. What's your point, Mr. McCollum? Well, no point. Just an exhibition of marksmanship. Uh, the bullet went through the hole in the center. Yeah, well, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Oh, it did. You can take my word for it. Yeah, well, I'd like to take your word, but... Would you mind doing it again, Mr. McCullough? You want me to do it again? If you don't mind. Well, I already shot one hole in your roof. That's all right. I hope you didn't take no offense at nothing I may have said earlier, sir. No, no. Gentlemen, just to keep the record straight, now, 150 a month uh, for the room and board is fine, but uh, I've got to do my prospecting because basically I'm on my way to Australia, and I wouldn't... You just name your terms, mister. <laughs> we'll rush to meet him. Fine, as long as everything's straight. Is there some kind of badge that goes with this job? Oh, you bet there is. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a little bent up. Well, it must have saved the life of whoever was wearing it. Well, it sure would have if it hadn't been for all them other bullets flying in from everywhere. Uh, gentlemen, do we have a jail here? Do we have a jail? Brand new one with two cells that the whole community pitched in, built last month. Just like a barn raisin. Even the dance hall girl showed up, made sandwiches, and carried on like crazy. It was designed to be practically escape proof. Oh, good, because I think I'm going to have to throw a couple of people in it. There's only one thing. This new jail has sure got everything. Uh, even a new stove with a coffee pot already on it. The only thing it hasn't got is iron bars for the cells. You're kidding. Which we had to send away for them, and they ain't a rove yet. But it's got everything else. It's got glass windows and brooms and kerosene lamps and you name it. Just no bars for the cell. That's right. Well, all right, I'll think of something. You ain't wanted for anything anywhere, are you, Mr. McCullough? Not that it matters, because we understand how them little things can happen. 
Uh, no, no, I'm not wanted for anything anywhere. the chance you was taking asking him a question like that? Why, you took offense and backed out of the whole deal. I'm the mayor of this town, and I got responsibilities. The question had to be asked. 